Alright guys, welcome back. Um, in this video we're going to make an x-ray hack. And it's not too bad, so let's get right to it. First off, let's make a new class in the mods package called x-ray. Let's do extends module. And then let's add the constructor. Delete these. And then we're going to do x-ray keyboard dot key underscore x and then category dot render. And let's do public void on enable. And a cool trick to get the on disable as well as the on enable is just do on dis and then control space enter. And yeah, do control D to delete a line. It's pretty helpful too. So X-ray class is created, and in here let's do MC dot is it render global. There we go. Dot load renders, and this pretty much just reloads the ch the world or how many chunks you want to be loaded. So copy that into on disable. And next, let's make a new class called X-Ray Utils. And this will be the class filled with blocks that we want to have rendered. Um, so, there's a huge method that I wrote out where it adds the methods for, I mean, the blocks for us. And so just copy this. And we also need to do one more thing. Um, Got to import this import block from net.minecraft.block and we need to make a array list of x-ray blocks so let's do public static x-ray public static what is it called in here x-ray blocks x-ray blocks um a ray list block x-ray blocks equals new a ray list so we gotta import those two and choose this one again and that should be good now we gotta go in here and we need to write a method that we'll be using later on and let's do public static boolean is x-ray block and that passes in a block and that pretty much checks if the block you passed in is a x-ray block in here so let's do if x-ray dot x-ray blocks dot contains b then return true and if it doesn't just return false because if it yeah you don't really need an else statement. Alright, so once we do that, let's go into the block class. And let's see, it should be here. Alright, so save that. Um, these two are done. And all we need to do is go into the block class and search for should side. Yeah, this one and the one above it actually. So first off, let's start by going to get mixed brightness, and let's do if spike dot get modules dot get, and now we could do a simple way of doing this or a more complicated way. And the easy way is just to go here, actually doing add mod new X-ray, and then we can count. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get the seventh module in our module array list, and then we do dot is toggled. So we're checking if X-ray is toggled. Then we're gonna return huge ass number. Do as many zeros as you can before you get to the max int. All right, so it should be one, two, three. Four, five, six. Alright, so it'll be a billion, I think. Yeah. 
So next, we're going to go to should side be rendered and another simple if statement. If spike.getmodules.get7 dot is toggled, so if it's on, they're going to return x-ray utils dot is x-ray block this. So yeah, that's all we need to do in the block class. Um, lastly, we just got to go copy this. Let's do, actually, let's go into the X spike class, sorry. And do x-ray utils dot init x-ray blocks. Cool. So now all we need to do is test it out. And I could do an opacity one later, but let's just get this one done first. So, if you go ahead and hit X, alright, so this is a weird thing. A lot of other people who program, um, put tutorials on YouTube, on mods, also have this issue. It's actually, when you're testing it in... Eclipse, you will get these errors that you can't see them, but once you actually export it to a real client, it will actually turn up completely normal. So if you guys are getting this while, you know, in Eclipse, that's fine. It'll work once you export it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how to make x-ray, and see you later.